Welcome to part two on my dual engine smart car. In this video, we're going to modify some OEM parts and make a few to complete this one way differential assembly. One might expect to fabricate such intricate engine parts, you'd be doing it in a clean, high tech shop like this. But nope, all this is being done in my little home garage. First I need to open up the sprag inside to fit the new bearing. This is hardened steel, but it does cut okay. Leaves a smooth finish. Give it a little polish with some sandpaper. I'd say that's a pretty good fit. Now to machine the OEM diff side plate to fit the bearings on the Sprague's ring. Yeah, I machined a step around the outside for concentricity on the ring. Next, an adapter for the inside bearing. Now we'll part it off. And then we'll machine the back to size. I need to transfer these holes to the differential side cover. These bolts are offset from the other ones and on a smaller bolt circle. I'll clamp the ring and transfer the holes on my drill press. Okay, got all the centering marks. Now we'll drill them out and tap the threads. Alright, that's done. Now to take that square piece of plastic and make it round for my lathe.
Quite a lot removed, but finally done. That'll be the nice pressure seal for the oil on the back side. It's got a little bit of a spring tension to it. Made out of nylon. That should last a long while. Got the back all protected. Got it clamped together. Got a centering pin made. Due to the fact it costs too much to cut these dowel pinholes and threads, I'm just going to weld it together because the cost of both of these is one tenth of the cost of putting bolt holes in here. So if it goes bad, replace them both. Let's get welding. Well, not the best welds, but they'll work. All right, with all these gears, when they go in here, across the shaft, there's space on either side. So I'm going to drill a hole here, put in this fill plug. That way when my diff is level, that'll be the fill height. In headway, got all the bearings, the drawing ready. Most of these parts are done. All, all this here is done. Got the other half of the housing. I put in the NPT fill plug. And all these gears go back inside of here. I still have to machine these two discs down to the outer supports for the diff. That will be coming up next on my tiny little grizzly leg. Here I used my cordless drill with a chuck key to motorize the compound slide to make the 45 smooth. This bearing will be a press fit, so that's a good starting point. One done, one more to go. In the next video, we will be making the front hubs fit the CV axle splines. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.